Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to another Coast Watch podcast. Um, today, I'm very fortunate to have Doug Phillips with me from Tonic Eyewear. Good to see you, Dougie. You too, mate. It's, it's been a long time. Oh, my God. And I haven't been. seen you for a couple of years with COVID, et cetera. So, and you haven't aged a day. Oh, I don't know about that. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice to see you back in sunny Queensland, mate, even though it's not so sunny. It's been a challenging uh, time, the old COVID, but we're, we're back on travel again and getting around everywhere to talk to customers again and everything else. So Excellent. It's really great to come up here and see you, Doug. No, very good. And, uh, and thanks for all your support, of course. Um, yeah, look, I suppose... Tonic, um, how long have you been in, around now? Well, I've been in the industry for 30 years. Yeah, but Tonic? Tonic has been 11 years. 11 years, wow. Time flies. Because um, I remember when uh, when you told me you were getting back in the game. So when we first met, obviously, 20 plus years ago, um, I think I was working for Trader Boat magazine and, yeah, yeah. and you um, you were Spotters back then. You own, you own Spotters. You, you started yeah, Spotters, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I'm the original founder of Spotters and yeah. uh, developed all the lenses for that company yeah. back in the day. Uh, you know, things a few a few things evolved. You know, took yep. on a partner and so forth. But you know that 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 hasn't sort of worked out. And I've decided to go forward and you know develop a, a higher and and uh, better performing lenses and uh, more technology in these. A lot more technology, uh, a little bit more expense to build a product like this because of the the film that we use and so forth. But we'll go into that. Yeah, though. yeah. No, no, I'm, no, I'm very. I'm that. sure the um, people at home are. Are keen um, to get an understanding of um, of of what tonic eyewear is all about and and what stands them apart from other polarised eyewear. I mean, um, Coast Watch obviously, you know, we're boaters, we're fishermen, we're yeah. surfers. At the end of the day, we love the outdoor lifestyle. Absolutely. So every person that I assume is interested in Coast Watch and even listens to this podcast or watch this video um, will be an outdoor enthusiast that spends time on the water and understands why polarised sunglasses are so important but I suppose the question I've got for you off the bat is what st stands tonic apart from every other polarized sunglass out there and why should I go and spend nearly $300 on a on a pair of sunglasses yeah well that's a fair comment Dave and, and you know what I'd like to be honest with you there's some good brands out there some, some fairly good products you know out and you know leveling out and everything else in the market there's no question but what I've done here is, and certainly when I used to own my old business, um, I certainly didn't want to come, or well, when I came back in, I had a few retailers and people say, Doug, you've just probably just changed the brand a bit, but that's not the case. The technology that I've done into these lenses, I've gone way and above. You know, I've, I've, what we've done too is with this type of lens here, we've made it thinner and lighter. Okay. Crown corn in glass, optically correct. It's Because that's one thing that a lot of people... Um, Historically, when you talk polarized glass lenses, going back, it was always weight. It's like, Absolutely. yeah, I'd like, I'd like glass, but they're too heavy. Correct. So you've fixed that problem. We fixed that problem. We got down to one point seven mil. Uh, everybody else sits around about the two mil marker, and they're quite substantially heavy. And as you know, you know, with my old brand, you, you, you put them on, and they're quite heavy. You know, a lot of people. We made a few jokes about people walking forward with them because of the weight and so <laughs> forth. So it was quite amusing at times. But at the end of the day, you know, we've made a lot of adjustments to this product. Like we've decentered the lenses and so forth. And I'll go into that a bit for you too. But the 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 technology in this in this product here, the clarity, it's like a good pizza. So, you know, you can heap a good lot of, you know, things on the pizza and like everybody says, I've got all these layers in my lenses. But you know what? All those layers, Actually it's harder something. to see through. We've made this less, but what we've done was put really expensive uh, film inside this. So we've done well, one, two and three colour uh, integrated filter systems in each lens and depending on the lenses of course and what we the application is for but definitely the clarity you can pick up a brand another brand out there and and have a look through our lenses and you will definitely see the clarity yeah. difference believe me and it's it's quite physical you can see the difference yeah and you can feel the weight difference it's it's remarkable yeah you know everybody picks up and go wow are these plastic and i go no these are definitely not plastic these yeah. are glass so on that point explain to us because as far as I know, there's, there's three types of lenses. There's glass, 
Yes. There's CR39, which yes. is Colombian resin. Yes. And there's polycarbonate. Is that Correct. it? Is that it? No, there's, there's more. There's more? Okay. There, it, it goes on to nylon and so forth. Okay. It, it, there's lots of different, and acrylic. You know, yeah. we can go on and on and on about yeah. optics and lenses, but you know what, the pinnacle, it, it'll go like exactly where you are, Dave. You said, so you go the glass, and then you go CR39, and then you go polycarbonate, and then down, down, down. Okay. Um, so if I go to the servo and pay 10 bucks for a pair of sunnies, what are they made out of? Uh, well, they could be acrylic, they could be uh, polycarbonate, but thin, really thin, lightweight polycarbonate and some of them even shrink and like I, I won't go into brands but you know back in the day you, you could see lenses were shrinking and, and lenses literally falling out because okay. the expansion and contraction so you a fair bit of that you'll get out of uh, polycarbonate expansion contracts CR39 it's, it's a stable product it's quite remarkable optically it's very good okay um, you know generally but glass is really the best for scratch resistance yeah. and everything like that remarkable um, and they're tough. People, you know, they do Speaking break. of which, you've got a little party trick. You've got to show us. Well, we'll show you how, how good the glass is. And that, and I'll just do this for you here. And we won't scratch the lens. I'll just stand up for this. So as you get, get a good see. And, and and we're not even scratching this lens and, and even marking it. Yeah. So for everyone no. that's listening um, at a podcast that can't see the video, um, obviously uh, Doug is scratching the crap out of a out of a lens with a car key, and, and nothing's happening. <laughs> and it's a mirrored lens, and you'll never ever scratch our mirror off. Yeah, a lot of people um, think that the mirror is on the outside, no. and but with your on some, I assume they are. Oh yes, yeah, some well, look a few companies out there yeah. because, because it's, it's quite technical, and I won't go into it too much, but. You know, you can get uh, double imaging and everything else if you don't do this right. So it's quite technical how we've... To get the mirror between yeah, the layers to, of glass. You, yeah, because you're actually looking at a mirror. So it's it's a fair bit of science that we do in, in the mathematical side of it for optics to make this actually work properly. Okay, okay. So that's why they laminate on the outside that's, and their mirrors scratch off. So and and Mark, and it's, yeah. it's, you do see it. You've, you yeah, see absolutely. guys with their mirrored sunnies yeah. and they're covered in scratches, and that's yeah. because the the mirrors the outside film instead of in between, like like what yours are. And and look, you know, to be honest with you, and straight, you know, we can scratch a hell out of these with a lens and uh, with a with key, key, and you won't scratch it. You know, great for the dashboard, the console, of the car. You know, your wife's handbag, and that's normally got a lot of stuff in it. You know, <laughs> um, you know, so all that, but it won't scratch it. But if you rub these up and down concrete, you will definitely scratch them and damage them. Right. But nobody's going to be that crazy to do that. Yeah. Although you might drop them, skid on them with your foot, you're going to damage them. But we've got a great policy in place to help you out when it comes to that. Okay. You know? okay. Basically a half price policy. Okay. So $160, you get a brand new pair if you write your lens off and we replace it with a brand new pair of sunglasses. Wow, that's awesome. It's a great deal. Yeah. And, and, you know, I don't care if it's five or seven or ten years later, yeah. we're still going to look after you and do yeah, the deal. Yeah, right, that's great. Support, because we man. want customers to stay with Tonic yeah. and work with us because we'll, we'll go into the future with this brand and product to make sure that everybody gets the best optics. So getting back to um, CR39 and polycarbonate, because one thing that I know you do is um, prescription eyewear. Correct. Um, so... I, I my, myself, obviously, getting a bit older, need need a script in my sunglasses. Um, if I go to, say, an optometrist and ask for a pair of prescription sunglasses, what am I going to get? Well, we'll, we'll, well, an op, well it depends on the optometrist. On the optometrist, yeah. But let's say someone that doesn't stock tonic eye, well, for example. you're going to get probably a polycarbonate lens. Yeah. We, we, we don't do, I don't do polycarbonate for my own personal reasons. Number one, I, I, I want the best optics for our cult clients. Um, you know, the stability that you'll get, you'll get a fair bit of aberration in a polycarbonate lens, so it'll expand and contract, and it's not heat resistant, uh, where the CR39, it's heat resistant, it's stable product, and you're going to get, it's about, oh, it's a, a percent, if that, between glass in optics okay. yeah. uh, and CR39. Yeah. It's a stable product, and do you know what, all the guides that we've got in Darwin and Tasmania and New Zealand and all those, those guides there, and they're not young guides, but they're, and their eyes are starting to fail a little bit, but we give them good eyewear to prop them up so they can actually take you fishing and guide you, and the, the, their job is to sight fish. Yeah. If they can't sight fish, they won't wear tonic. Yeah. You know, yeah. They're going to wear tonic to, yeah. so they can see. Yeah, absolutely. It's an integral part of the job. It's a, just another tool of the trade for them, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. It yeah. is a tool of the trade. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so just to um, explain... 
obviously, if you want a script, it will be CR39. Correct. Not glass no. and not polycarbonate. No. Right. So, yeah. No. yeah. Definitely not. And, and any frame you like. Yeah. And we've got more frames than this. Because that's the other thing. Normally, if you want um, a, a script, um, you're, you're restricted on what frames because most optometrists don't want to put um, a script in a curved no. frame, do they? No. So if you're like me and wear a pair of shimmers like this and it's a wraparound, you know, um, you can put a script in that. Absolutely. Look, we, there's no bars hold when it comes to doing scripts for us. Yeah. You know, we look, we specialise in this type of thing. Yeah. We, we've been, I've been doing this for 30 years. I'm all over it. So yeah. We, yeah. we know exactly what to do and how to do it and get these, and these, I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding, the, the technology and everything else. If you saw the workmanship now that we do today compared to what we used to do back in the day, yeah. uh, you, you cannot tell that it's a prescription. Yeah. They are that good. Yeah. yeah. And it's precision work, and it's, it really is. It's yeah. uh, something that I'm really proud of, in fact, that when I look at some job and I go, wow, that's, that's a beautiful finish. And this is obviously just an example of the range in front of us. What, you've got 30 plus models? Yeah, then, in, into, into well, lenses. Actual and frames, and then you've got lenses, multiple lenses on each frame. Combination through that. So blue mirror, green mirror, red, red mirror, mirror, silver mirror, yep. and some. Silver mirror, photochromic glass we do yep. as well, like photochromic copper and photochromic grey. To explain a little bit about photochromic. Yeah, because that's a word that comes up a lot that I think not everyone understands. Explain... Because yeah. probably, you know, a lot of guys I know that wear tonic, they always say that the photochromic grey or photochromic copper are their lens of choice. So. Yeah, yeah, you're right, pretty much. But the, the, number one, we don't do a mirror lens with a photochromic. Gotcha. It doesn't change enough to be worth gotcha. the, the optics. So it's either change. the grey or the grey copper? Grey or copper, yeah. Yep. The, okay, so we'll explain a little bit. Now, if I was a freshwater fisherman and I'm, I'm walking up a river and there's trees, sun, trees, sun, and so on. Yeah, multiple um, light. Multiple lights. Yeah. And, and, you know, so, and your pupil is dilating and, and going with the prevailing light as well. Okay, so we need to coordinate a little bit that. It doesn't coordinate exactly, but it does work very well, um, especially in low light. So if you're in a dark area under a tree, shadows and so forth, not only that, we're getting reflective glare coming off the water. That actually, you'll, that'll back off and, and drop down to uh, this ambient light right now. So the lens adjusts with the prevailing, the prevailing light. light. Correct. Yeah. So we get under the trees, we're seeing the shadows, we cut through the glare, and you're sighting fish, yeah. right? And, and, and believe me, you do sight fish. Yeah. These lenses, and I'll go into the film after, but that, the film in this is, 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 is incredible. Yeah. That, it's yeah. that good. Um, so what happens is that then you go into the sun, bang, they go dark yeah. straight away. Yeah. Yeah. They'll take about 25 seconds to 30 seconds to back off to its ambient again, but it will certainly be adjusting all the way up that river yeah. and changing. So that's the beauty of that lens. Uh, the grey... The grey I'll probably use, uh, certainly don't go, I, I certainly, my personal choice, I certainly wouldn't go in the river, fresh water with a grey lens. Okay. Because it flattens the colour out. But we've got a little bit of a two-colour two twist to this lens. So it's got grey and aqua in it. Okay. To, to sort of give us a bit of definition, because what happens is that grey flattens everything out. So we, we just need to pick up a little bit there, because otherwise it's quite a boring lens. But the, it's a, this is an amazing lens. It's a beautiful lens. Never been a big fan of grey, but this is just seriously. It's it to look through this, and and I'm, I kid you, it's, the clarity is just amazing. Mm, mm. But you'll get that out of anything we do. But I, I don't know this this thing about the grey. Yeah, I, do I guess there's some personal choice comes into play, even just from a look perspective Correct. as well. That's why some people like mirrors. Yeah. You know, some people like the copper. Um, yeah, and that's why you've got to have so many models and styles in the range, I guess, to keep everyone happy. That's right, and they do different things too. So. Um, that, that's our photochromic lens. I'll, 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 I'll explain a little bit more in detail to the lens. So it's a photochromic lens, so it changes with the prevailing light. This is also a, an eight base curve. So we go six and eight and the four base. So the, the higher the number, the bigger the curve uh, to explain to you. You know, somebody goes, what's an eight base curve? Well, eight base has got a big curve like that. A six base has got a lesser curve and a four base is even lesser again. Okay, so we do all those curves. Um, in our lenses, depending on the frames and the coverage that the customers really need. So what happens is that, so this is a photochromic glass lens, 1.7 mil thin and light. It, it, it really is super lightweight. And even for a metal frame, this is very light. Um, 
So 1.7, photochromic, and with an anti-reflective coating on the back surface. And you'll see by the dampening of the light off, off the fluoro here, yeah. of the, maybe you can see the reflection. I'm not sure off the camera, but hopefully you can. And most lenses on the back there are shiny. So um, when you put them on, you'll see the reflection bouncing back off your eye to the, your pupil to the, to the lens, mm. where we've reduced that by 35%. So it reduces any bounce back by 35%. So any back surface light coming in there should not really affect you while sight fishing. So that's okay? the an anti-reflective coating that's on the inside. Anti-reflective yeah. coating on the inside. Then we've gone, inside this lens, like I said, the less the better, okay? So lots of people put layers in their lenses, we don't. It's all about the film. We spend the money on the film. This is $80,000 a roll, okay? But it's a, compared to a lot of film out there, it's about 36, 37,000 for a roll. This is Nanofilm, and it's, there's two companies that actually use this. It's another brand over in Italy that gets supplied by my same supplier out of Japan. Okay. But this is, this is the most expensive film, and it's the thinnest and clearest film on the world market today. Okay. So that's why we put it in here. Um, you know, and it really costs money, but saves money. And it's got the wow factor. When you look through this, you definitely see the clarity um, through it. We also decenter our lenses. Now you might now explain think, explain decenter. We might think, yeah. okay, so decenter. So just to give you an idea, who can't see this, um, and you're not if you're listening to yeah, it, and you're yeah. not whatever. The guys in their car listening okay. to the podcast. Yeah. So what happens is that when you put a flat lens in front of your eye, if you a round circle and you look through there, you would say that, and you look through it flat, you can see no problems at all, straight, yeah. perfect. But when you wrap them around your head, the center is out looking out the side of your head like it's a not, wizard. Yeah, okay, okay? gotcha. Yeah. So we move the center five mil from the datum to the center of your pupil. Gotcha. So you're looking at the true depth and the true distance. Otherwise, your brain and your optics is telling you to adjust, and it takes, and it, and it can adjust, but, it can also put a bit of fatigue on as well. So we adjust all our optics with a five mil from the datum or center, so as you actually don't walk funny. And a lot of guys back in the day, I remember, you know, some of them complain, oh heck, I can't see my footing. And they're walking funny because of the curvature. Okay. And their eyes are trying to pull it in, but this is why we do, we don't have a drama at all. Not one pair here you'll ever get with a hassle at yeah. all. Yeah, okay. And that's to compensate for the for the wrap around the curvature. Frames. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So that's the, there's a lot of technology that goes into these. Yeah. Also, this is a you got to understand this is a laminated lens. So it, there's two wafers. They're 4.5 to 4.8 mil thick, um, and we generate them down to two very very fine wafers. We we bond them together and we put the film in the middle. Uh, we AR coat the back surface. And you know we might we, we also well with the mirrored lens we put the mirror in the middle and as well so and that's all bonded together and then they're cut and then you know finally finished and then finessed and so forth put the front. so these are not a cheap item you know to to build yeah. they're they're probably these are the most expensive lenses I've ever endured believe yeah. me it's uh yeah. it's uh but so, they're so, definitely so worth it. on that basis then to basically to be able to buy them for under three hundred dollars is it's, it's true, you know, yeah. everything is over 300. Mm -hmm. But I can tell I'll, I'll say one thing, you know, we don't sell Tonic as the brand. Yeah. We, we sell it for the product. For the is. technology, yeah. For the technology. Yeah. I'm certainly not interested in, you know, going over 300 mark. We, we, we put this out in the market, so I want people to afford to buy a pair of Tonics, yeah. you know, yeah. and, uh, and get as much enjoyment out of them as I do. Yeah. And obviously, uh, it's not just the blokes, you, you make. We do do ladies as well. Ladies. Yes, yeah, we do. Yeah. We've got you know one, got... one pair there. That's yeah. the is that the Flemington? Yeah, that's a Flemington. Yeah, um, that's a pretty sexy pair of sunglasses. Yeah. They're that they're manufactured. They're handmade acetate. So you know they're all handmade literally, and then they're barreled and tumbled for three days oh. and vanessed with a buff. Okay, and there's wire shot down the temples, so they're adjustable. So you know you can bend them in and adjust them. Okay. okay? And then hold that there. So that quite adjustable. So that's all vanessed and buffed and finished off. And you can see that's all handmade. Um, yeah, from a piece of thick sheet. So obviously with a lot of different styles, there's a reason. You haven't just done, you know, 30 plus styles just because one looks different to the other. There's actually 
case scenarios like purposes. So if you've got a, a skinny head, a fat head, a round head, you've got frames that suit the different head styles. Yeah, and, and, and of course, we'll start off with the middle frame for starters. So the middle frame has, you know, adjustable and uh, they've got spring hinges. Okay. We've got silicon pads in because, you know, like that that's just grips like, you know, yeah. anything. on you. It's certainly not going to slip down your nose. Yeah. You know, you put them on, beautifully well-balanced, and you know they are really well balanced for the for a metal frame. They really are, and they're beautiful. Try them on, Dave. Yeah, they're, they're one think, of your newer models, yeah, aren't they? they? Are. The, the, yeah. the, what, which ones are these called? These, these are called black. Black. B L A Q. Yeah. yeah, geez, they're comfy, aren't they? And they are really comfy. They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> spring hinges and everything. So you know, yeah, that really quite a nice frame. So then we've got. You know, all the rest of the frames, apart from the ladies' pair, are injection moulded. Okay. Uh, but it's TR90, so it's a, it's a product that most of us do use in the marketplace. There's no hiding that fact. But definitely, uh, you know, we've got frames to suit big heads, small heads, and I'll, I'll tell you. So this is this is a tracker, and it definitely fits a, a, a bloke with a fairly broad head. Okay. And it fits him well, gives him good coverage down the bottom. And again, well balanced. You know, it's all about the balance for, for them. To yeah. Fit the other really thing nice. I've noticed, like uh, us as boaters and fishermen, we um, we're always wearing hats or caps. So um, you've made some adjustments to some frames for that as well. Is that yeah, right? absolutely. Well, this is, you're right. right actually, the, the it's, tracker. it's good pickup there, yeah, Dave. You yeah. know. So the tracker here, where sometimes it pushes down on the ear, this sits back. It's a shorter temple. Yeah. That's why we've done this one. It's shorter yeah. temple. Because so sometimes when you're wearing a cap and, and it's pushing on your sunnies, you can get a bit of bit of pain above yeah, the ears. Yeah, it can be annoying. Thing. So that kind of alleviates that. That's right. This one here, of course, this is. Uh, also, the, this is also the, Another tracker. the tracker, but yeah. this is in a matte finish. In a matte finish, yeah. yeah. We've, we've gone the matte on this now more than the gloss because gloss, yeah. it's become more popular yeah. and it absorbs the heat better okay. than this because so these get very hot otherwise okay. with the temperature. So there, so we've done that in a matte finish. Uh, uranium, also great frame, wide, really big, really big lens. Okay. You know, fits a big head and, uh, you know, and it really sticks to your head really well. It's curved around here. And it's really quite nice. Well, so, okay, so this one here, this is the uh, Evo. So the Evo, uh, you know, back in the day, and you know, through the history of my life of, in optics and so forth, and frames and designing, um, I had a lot of people with a lot of problems with bridging. Okay. So, so and, bridging and your your bridge, your nose bridge. Yeah, yep. So what happens is I'll show you. There's two bridges here, so you can see uh, anybody that's what's one's. And the Evo is a really wide bridge. So if you've got a big bridge or wide bridge or had your nodes punched and broken <laughs> nose and so yep. forth, this lens, this frame here will definitely sit. Because if you had this frame on with a thinner bridge, you'll be looking beneath your glasses, where this one here will just drop straight over your nose bridge here and, and it'll sit right there gotcha. really well. Gotcha. And, it, and we sell a lot of these because, you know, I've had lots of people come in, oh, mate, you can't help me. And I said, well, you know, I can. And uh, well, we'll go, oh, I'll give you my wallet if you... Uh, <laughs> if you can fix them, I said, well, you better give me your wallet because one thing I can do, I'm not bad at picking people's faces yeah, for the, sure. the idealistic frame. So this this here is fantastic for anybody that's got a really wide bridge okay. and it fits really well. Nice. Um, it's brother, basically, I call him like it's brother. His, we've got the Evo and we've got the Rush. So if you're about 80 kilos, 75 kilos, um, six, five foot six and whatever, and quite thin, the little rush will fix okay. your head really yeah, right. well. Right. It's just so one of those. The, the so, yeah, guys, with great little frame. Heads. Yeah. Great little frame. And then, as you pointed out earlier, Dave, uh, you were saying that uh, a fella came in here and he was like looking at you know these glasses sliding off his head. Mm. We've got the Torquay. This will never come off your head. Okay. They are just so obviously the arms are. Yeah. designed in a way that it wraps around the back yeah. of your head to the, stop them falling off. The temple tips temple wrap, tips, li okay. li literally wrap around your head yeah. really well. Okay. So they're not going to go anywhere. Okay, okay. And of course, you can always use straps or whatever if you're worried about dropping yep. them in the drink, which we've all done, I'm sure, at one point in oh. that time. And we've got floatable cords. We've got yeah. floatable because I don't want anybody, as much as you know, people say, oh, it's nice to them, they have to buy a new pair. I prefer them to last them for a long time. Yeah, yeah. When they buy tonic, I want value for money for these people. Yeah, yeah. It's really important yeah. that they have something of quality and that, that lasts the endurance of time. Awesome, awesome. You know, and this is, uh, of course, the shimmer you pointed yeah, out. Yeah. The shimmer, 
Again, uh, great wrap around, very popular. Yeah. It really is. It's one of those really popular frames. They go on your head and they fit really well, you know? So that's good coverage, good side coverage. And what's the, uh, what's the future for Tonic then, Dougie? What's the, what's the plan? Some, some new models coming soon? Yeah, or? we've got, we've got uh, probably four new models, to be okay. honest. We've got another new ladies I'm just designing now. We've just about finished the drawings. Yeah. Uh, then we go to mould. We've got a, a really funky new uh, sort of semi round one it's and I love them I think they'll be a okay. really good one we've got you know and a, a really always a, always evolving and keeping up with the trends Have I to. guess it's and as far as manufacturing go I meant to ask this earlier um where where's manufacturing in Japan Japan yeah it's all Japanese technology and lenses yep. I've been yep. working with the Japanese for 30 years and yeah um you know and I work with some of the best uh, optical mathematicians uh, and they're really, really clever, and and we, we work very closely together, because I, I each there's some lots of different lenses we've got, you know we've got like I say you know Dave's saying we've got a red mirror we've got a blue mirror we've got a green you know uh, a green mirror uh, having a look here a grey photochromic, and then we've got a neon, a neon is quite unique to anything on the market. Okay. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a neon. Well, there you go. That's <clears> a neon, Dave. Oh. There you go. So Dave. I thought that neon. was a copper. Of- photochromatic no so. that's okay. a neon you can okay. see how light that is in oh fact, it's a lot lighter than the copper i'll, I'll show you yeah. um that's red mirror sorry dave there you go okay see see, see yes, the two different colors quite a quite a difference look at that and yeah. against the white yeah the, and against the white you can probably see it on my shirt yeah this one's a lot lighter yeah. than this one. that's the copper that's the neon right. this okay. is photochromic yeah. this is not okay so lots of guides use these um freshwater fishing and so forth and in really low light? In is really that, low light. Okay. But we call Dawn it, and dust sort of thing? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Early yep. in the morning, late yep. in the evening. Yeah. Um, what, what's happened is that uh, they, they find that this... See, this is not photochromic, so this lets in 33% light but completely cuts the glare. Okay. Right? They all... They, they let in between, you know, 12 and 16% of light. Okay. So, you okay. know, the variance of photochromic moving all the yeah, time. Yeah, sure. Um, but this is stable. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, Brett Wolf. Do you know Brett Wolf? Yeah, yeah. Next man. Okay. Yep. yep. In the, up there, um, he he rang me and said, uh, "I've never used anything as good as this on bonefish." Okay. Yep. And I said to him, "I said, what do you mean? You're, like I've designed that lens for, um, you know, freshwater, so, you know, freshwater yep. low lights." And he goes, "Well, it goes to show you, you don't know much <laughs> about lenses, don't you? Because yeah. this is the best bone fishing lens I've ever okay. used." Okay, that's a that's a good call. Because at the end of the day, anyone that's fished for bonefish, fly fished, obviously, um, yeah, they call, they don't call them the ghosts of the flats for no reason. No. Like they are hard to see. I've I've fished for bonefish in New Caledonia, and and yeah, like the god like the guides say, just cast there, and I'm like, where well, I can't see anything, but. Obviously, um, yeah. You use the right lens, yeah, and you can see, see them. Yeah, nice, nice. You know, so you know, and then we, if we go like this, this is quite a unique lens. So, you know, like I say, you know, lots of guides use them and so forth, and that's a, quite a popular lens. And it, it's, it, it's something you have to explain to somebody because they look through it. And, oh, you can see my eyes. It, 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 this is a tool. This is not, I would say, um, you know, to use them for walking around every day. But I will say one thing. They are the best driving lens you've ever driven in. Yeah. To cut glare and in its pouring rain, which you guys have got plenty of rain. Yeah, there's no the shortage of rain out there. My God, you know, if I come up to get a suntan, what have I done? I go back and need a raincoat. Yeah. But this lens here, you see, in every every drop raindrop, there's a particles particles scatter glare coming through that the light projections is everywhere. This thing here gives you enhancement, and you can see through all that glare and all that water like you've never seen before so truck drivers and so forth <coughs> part of me uh, are using that lens it's 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 incredible nice nice all right dougie well i reckon that's pretty much given everyone a, a really good understanding of of what tonic eyewear is all about and um and obviously you know the the diversity and probably the point of difference from from some of the others out there um so yeah just wanted to say thank you for your time and um of course, um, everyone. It's you know we we can't produce these podcasts without without the support of of our partners and um, and Doug's one of those partners. So um, appreciate if you support him and also um, Rockstar Tackle is our is our new partner as well. Now um, you can see the entire um, 
tonic eyewear range at rockstartackle.com.au. So um, be appreciated if you could check those guys out as well. So and you get a free hat with every pair of tonics. <clears throat> you do. To that's that's the deal that Rockstar are doing at the moment. Um, and and free... maybe if you're really good, Dave might even throw in a flatable cord. Oh, okay. Well, it's careful. We'll have to ask uh, Andy. He's the boss, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. All right. Well, um, Dougie, um, really appreciate your time. It's great to catch up. And I'm oh, sure the people uh, listening and watching at home um, got something out of it. Yeah. And Tonic, with Tonic, you'll see what you've been missing. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. See you guys.